what we what we discuss these days is not really new stuff. It's it's old stuff. Um, and now I'm going to tell you an anecdote on long-termism. Um, back in the 15th century, there was a an entrepreneur called Christopher Christopher Columbus. Christopher he um, had the bold business plan to sail right west from Portugal, and he would eventually reach the source of Asia. And on the way, he would discover new land, and he would bring home riches for himself and his investors. And then he went to the banks, already at that point in, in, in time, quite a mature industry, and the uh, wealthy business angels of the time, the um, uh, merchants of Genoa. And they, they said to Christopher, easy, easy stuff. We just finance against collateral the three ships of yours. And you sign a standard document stating that you will never lose sight of the coastline. Was that a problem? Oh, yes, because that was precisely what he wanted to do. So Christopher, he had to turn to tougher sources of risk capital, venture capital, the knights and the kings of Europe. And he ended up in the arms of Queen Elizabeth, uh, Queen Isabella of Spain. Isabella and yeah, and Ferdinand II, exactly. <coughs> and they, yeah, well, Elisa, Isabella, she really fancied this business plan. And she loved the part on gold and, and spreading the words of God. Um, but she didn't really understand the business plan, so she invited the, the most brilliant minds in her kingdom uh, to scrutinize the, the business plan. And they came back one year later and they said to her, don't invest in this business plan. It's never going to happen that this man will find new valuable land on the way. The rest is history. She entered, nevertheless, a venture contract, probably the first government-involved venture contract with an entrepreneur in history. And he went out there and he not only found <laughs> new land, but a, a, um, a continent, and he brought back riches for himself and um, Isabella. Um, yeah, and ever since Christopher, ever since Christopher, banks have demanded um, that entrepreneurs never lose sight of the coastline. And ever since, ever since Isabella, <coughs> entrepreneurs have turned to governments whenever they wanted to hit out with the unknown wide oceans. Um, and ever since Christopher and Isabella, we all loved venture capital, despite the fact that venture capital has probably been the worst performing uh, investment industry uh, in all times. And if you take out the part that governments have participated in, it is probably outright a disaster. These dilemmas we will discuss further in detail tomorrow. So stay tuned and have a nice evening. Thank you so much.